Here you can see a couple of our baby captive bread fire skinks that we have in right now. Um, these are here in our Menifee store. We actually have two groups of them. One is uh, about a month older than the other. We get them started in feeding for a good month or so before we offer them for sale. They're super duper cute when they're this size. Um, and because they are captive bred, they're used to people in captivity, which means that they're gonna make great pets for somebody looking for a really cool, a really pretty and smaller species of skink to keep as a pet. Fire skinks do like it humid, so you're gonna wanna keep them in a cage that has higher humidity. Um, these guys, as you notice, are on their orchid bark here. We also have UVB lights on them. On a tw if you have a cage that's about 12 inches tall, you're going to want to use a 5.0 bulb. If you have a cage that's taller than 12 inches, definitely make sure that you use a 10.0. Give them lots of places to hide. If you look at this cage here, we've got several pieces of pork as well as a little fake Venus flytrap back there that they can go hide under. We heat these guys up using a heat pad just because it is a bit of a gentler heat and they don't need it super toasty. You're looking at a hot spot of about 85, maybe 90 on a hot day and that's plenty for them. They're growing and thriving and as you can see eating and doing well with that kind of temperature range. This is one of the older babies that we're offering for sale right now. Uh, these little guys are actually big enough to start eating the regular sized mealworms, which they do with gusto. We usually offer a dish of them once or twice a week um, and when we offer them we leave uh, calcium in the dish. So that way they can get all their vitamins and nutrients and stuff. And again, as you can see, they're actually really sweet. And again, because they're they've been raised in captivity, they were born in captivity, they're really used to people, um, which makes them an excellent option for someone looking for a really fantastic pet lizard. <laughs> that and they are freaking adorable if you look at those little faces. If you're patient and calm with them, you can raise them up to be really sweet. These guys are a little bit skittish when we first open the, the cage lid, but they do relax. And as you can see, they're just sitting here in my hand. Um, the one from earlier crawled right up my arm and is hanging out there right now. These are great pets. When you get them home, definitely let them settle in for a little bit before you start playing with them too much. Um, and give them time to grow up. When they mature, they're about 8 to 10 inches, maybe a little bit longer, up to 12 for a really large adult. Um, definitely give them lots of space. I would recommend at least a 3-foot cage for an adult so they have plenty of room to run around in. Adults will eat dubia roaches, soup worms, giant mealworms, regular mealworms, crickets. Uh, mine at home because I have a few of these. I actually feed mine at home as well, canned caterpillars and canned crickets. Um, and they actually come up and eat them right out of a dish just like they eat their worms. So they're actually, once you get them set up and going, they're really, really easy to care for. They make great pets. They're really rewarding, adorable, um, and fantastic. And there you go. These are a couple of our baby captive bread fire skinks. If you want to order some of the adults that we have, you can go ahead and visit our website at www.llreptile.com. Uh, these babies here are only available in Menifee, which is where they were born. Um, so if you're local, come on in and check them out. Um, otherwise, you can go to our website and order adults online and try your hand at breeding them yourself. Uh, we didn't have any trouble with ours breeding here in Menifee, so you shouldn't have much of an issue either. And there you go. Those are the baby fire skinks and a little bit of information about caring for them.